a major redefinition. Um, you know, as I look back over the last three decades, um, nothing greatly has changed in what is taught and how it is taught. Uh, whereas the real business world is changing massively. We're looking at industries that didn't exist 30 years ago. We're looking at business models that didn't exist 30 years ago. We're looking at go-to-market structures that were new and path-breaking. And I think through all of this, whilst an MBA doesn't prepare you for any single industry, an MBA has to prepare you for greater agility, uh, you know, for greater versatility. Uh, which I don't think a lot of our, uh, you know, MBAs are doing. We're still very traditional in what we teach and how we teach it. And yet we expect managers to be out there and be thinking out of the box and be innovative and be creative. And I look at all that and say, but how is it going to happen? Unless the input changes, the output is not likely to change. So, uh, you know, I do think things have to be taken apart and put together again. I think uh, a lot more of what I would call experiential learning, a lot more of, um, you know, what is the discipline and process of creativity and innovation? And there I'm not just talking about creating a new product, whether it is a new business model, a new way of uh, adding value to your customer, whatever it is. So an education, which is, I would include a lot more of liberal arts into the MBA education, um, because, you know, we don't want to create robots. We want to create people who are curious, people who have interests outside just making money and looking at, you know, stock prices and what multiples we are able to get and so on. Uh, it's good to be hard-nosed about business, but you have to be sensitive in terms of, um, you know, the environment in which you're operating. I would like to, uh, you know, create managers who are responsible, not just for the results the business is delivering, but also how their business is impacting communities and societies. And it's not just using words and terminology like triple bottom line and conscious capitalism and so on. It's it takes a lot of hard work to say, how do I actually put it in practice? How do I actually implement a lot of the things that we uh, oftentimes espouse about in terms of, you know, the business ethos and the, you know, the cultural values and so on. So I think we need managers who are more connected uh, to many more dimensions of the world in which we live and not unidimensional about uh, business. Uh, I think liberal arts provide that sense and sensibility. Um, you know, why do I need to learn creativity from an MBA? Why can't I learn creativity from an artist? Um, you know, whether it is a weaver who's weaving fabric, or it is a dancer who's dancing, or a musician who's creating music, or somebody who's baking a cake. I mean, you know, there's creativity and innovation and all of those things. Um, so I think we need to make our education more eclectic and less staid and myopic and therefore boring according to me. I think you have to choose, like employers choose their employees. I think as a young student, I would choose my employer very, very carefully. Um, I would also be fairly upfront and demanding in terms of, uh, you know, what was said to me and what my actual experience is. Um, I think, and it varies by organization, some organizations have fairly well structured uh, programs for inducting uh, new trainees. There are others, you know, certainly the dot coms that are growing and, um, uh, you know, trying to keep pace and uh, you just come in and you're supposed to hit the ground running and you do the best that you can do. Uh, I don't think there's anything right or wrong. I really think that as an individual, uh, you know, those are your learning years. Uh, you can't, uh, you've got to be in a place that is uh, valuing you as an individual, that is investing in you uh, as an individual, and that is giving you in an environment where you can actually make a contribution. 
Oh, plenty. And you see a lot of them overseas. You see a lot of them in, uh, uh, in Europe. Um, you know, where, uh, again, uh, I think, you know, I think it's become somewhat uh, the easy thing to do or fashionable or whatever to say, you know, if it's a, if it's a business entity, I've got to get an MBA. Um, I don't, Frank, I think an MBA is one of the most overrated degrees, if you ask me. Um, uh, and it's good if you have an MBA, but it's fine if you are, you know, an MBA, an MA in economics or sociology or, uh, you know, psychology or, um, uh, you know, statistics or anything like that. There are, you know, several roles. I think there are two things, as I said earlier. One is you have to be good at something functionally. Now, you know, if I really have a good sense of macroeconomics or microeconomics, of course I can come into an organization and make a wonderful contribution. But more than that, you know, more than, so one is assuming that you've got to have some functional specialization. Over and above that, you know, you've just got to have adaptive skills, leadership competencies, which, you know, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, an MBA doesn't necessarily teach you that. Uh, you know, life teaches you that, observation teaches you that, the kind of innately, the kind of person you are, how much you want to invest in your own learning. I think we're also getting away from a syndrome, certainly in, uh, in business, which says the company is not responsible for my learning, I am responsible for my learning.